Okay. Everything to be right. Well, actually, this the mat here. Yeah. 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 Come on back. See the board right here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're Stand right. behind it that is board. A bit, huh? yeah, it's not at the green post for sure. See that dirt spot to the right of green? Yeah. And a little to the right, there's an old green yeah. that used to. That's it. That's our spot. Ah. So your ball's going straight. Ah. Feel better? I do. Good lesson. Yeah. 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 Right. Lessons over. Lessons over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. perfect. All right, so definitely doesn't use a lot of the wrists, but it's really good with rotating with your arms solid like that. So since your shoulders got messy, what's the stroke differential? Probably three to six strokes. Okay. Yeah, easy. So you got to get behind the ball more. That ball is behind the center of you. Go, go this way. Yeah, there you go. That's it? Yep. Because now it's here. <laughs> yeah, that's a little forward or middle. You want that? Yes. Yeah, you think about like, I'm, I'm hitting over the top of the ball, mm. so your club is not finding the low point till mm -hmm. like over here. Well, let's put the ball over there. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then when you set the, mm -hmm. go ahead and get ready. Mm -hmm. When you set the ball there, I'm going to bend you in there, okay? Okay. I want you to there to the right like that, right? Yeah. So this side just softened up a little, right? Yeah. Good girl. That's it. That's why I'm saying this is what this is all about. You're way high. Can you? Because I know you're injured with the hands and arms. Can you use them uh, more than you're using? Can you let it go? Which? Uh, the arms, the hands. So stand, uh, yeah, you can stand right out in front. I'm not going to swing. I'm not going to hit a ball. So stand right here is a good kitty corner view. Yeah. So you're coming through and it looks like this. And I'm asking you, can you, can you let the club kind of flip through? Okay, so here's the club releasing past my hands. Mm -hmm. Here's it in front of my hands. Then I move it in front of my hands, in front of them, and it never changes. Mm -hmm. Or I can let it change and go like this uh, and let it go and then you get more speed on the club without you having to work very hard and probably you would be using your lower arms more than the shoulders mm. so this is a shoulder driven kind of idea that you do like that yeah. and that's okay uh, can work obviously but what I'm asking you to experiment and experience is maybe a little bit of this mm -hmm. you know what that is crossing the hands Right here, have you done? You know, done that, right? No. So watch, watch, watch this. So there's a little flip, and you see people do that all the time that you play with, right? They look like this, you know, kind of goofy looking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not so that's not what we want, but I want you to feel like that that the wrists it's okay for them to change, and it's just releasing the club, Samara. It's not a it's not a big deal. Do you play some tennis at all? No. Okay. Okay, any kind of racket? I did. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. So when I go back and let my hands go, they're going to be uh, accelerating the club and letting them go forward. You're swinging in a way, like we discovered earlier, where you're locked in. And you're predict, trying to predict your outcome. So it looks quite a bit like you're here like this, and you wind up, and all you're moving is you to move this club. Okay? That's a predictable idea that it should both go straight if I don't do a bunch of this, if I don't you know, let it go like this and do that stuff. This right. thing should go straighter than that guy. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that uh, it, it, once you start swinging back, my club face is already to right field right now. Look at, see that's over to the side of you. It started here, but all I did was watch me turn and now it's never at the target. I mean, it moves away from the target right away. Versus? Versus, well, I'm just making the statement here. Yeah, so it yeah. moves this way and then, and now watch my head. If my head starts to go this way, I can't get the face back to normal because mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people that really do well with the driver keep their head behind where they started, or they even move it further back. Mm -hmm. For one, and I'm going to invite us to let those double joints go. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're, when you're doing this, right? You go ahead and grip. Mm -hmm. You're going to have three spots you can give yourself when the club's over through the zone here. Mm -hmm. So when the club is pointing out that way. The face can be like this, which is kind of a bunker shot idea. 
Right. The really face. Open. Yeah, really yeah. open. Exactly yeah. right. Or it can be vertical, straight mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or it can be rolled horizontal. Yeah. You need to feel horizontal. Okay. The horizontal. That's not even quite there. Sorry. There. That's horizontal. Now look at your wrists. They're all rolled over. Yes. So you need to do, use your DJs, double joints. Let them go. Before you ever get to the ball, you need to be feel like flicky. Oh. Okay. Oh. Big time. Let it go. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Soft arms and just flick them. And keep your head back. Uh, more like. Yeah. Yeah, like flip them over. Like flip them over yeah. with your head staying behind the ball. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. So now all you need to do is keep your head behind the flick. You know, you got to keep it behind and do the work with your arms. And it's going to get good. And go. How fast can you make those arms go? Come on. Faster? Faster. Faster wrists. Faster wrists. Yeah. They want to go. You're locking them in, though, you know? Man. Which makes you work harder, <laughs> right? You don't work hard. This game's getting tiring out there, especially when you're playing the foggy days of Presidio. Here we go. Right. We're working on really the, letting the arms and wrists go, man. Let them flick through. You can see how much straighter that ball is going. Awesome. Huh? Whoa, I said. <laughs> less work again, though, right? Way less. You finished, and you were like this that time. You weren't even turned to the target. You know what I mean? You weren't like, Argh. Way less work. I've been working way too hard out there. Well, this is it, boys. <laughs> Everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So... You want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below. Hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.